So this BlackRock news is further developing, but it looks like they will offer a not a spot ETF for institutional investors, but something to the tune of what GBTC essentially is. But this is only going to be catered to their institutional clients. So it's not going to be on the public markets yet. Um, I will cite Pomp in his newsletter today. He kind of talked about it and speculated a little bit on what he thinks the potentials could be, laying out the groundworks for this offering by BlackRock eventually entering the public markets. And once that happens, BlackRock being Gary Gensler's daddy will go ahead and ask Gary Gensler, hey, let's let's get that spot ETF going. And according to Pomp's expectations, you'll see both GBTC as well as BlackRock's version be made a spot ETF. I think it would honestly even be more likely that they only approve one BlackRock's because it's BlackRock. Um, for those who don't realize, BlackRock really runs the world, specifically the U.S. government, given how much money they donate to different uh, different congressional campaigns as well as state and local governments. And let's not forget your recent uh, and latest landlord buying up so much property all over the world. Didn't BlackRock also buy 23andMe at one point in like 2020? Who knows? Who knows? I think, like, I mean... BlackRock is, is insane. They are a giant behemoth, um, but they're only one of the many entities that uh, that are uh, that have Ancestry. very effectively engaged. Com. Yeah, in regulatory capture. It's bad news. Like, why does Larry Fink need to own houses? My ancestry, like lineage, Bitcoin, and God knows what else under assets. There's under money. To, and there's money to be made, my man. It's his moral responsibility to be beholden to the shareholders who pay him to make the money. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to be super interested to see how this plays out with, uh, as you brought up, with regard to GBTC um, and and whether BlackRock is, in fact, able to get something approved. And I, I can't imagine it being possible for them to get something approved and then the GBTC ETF not being approved, but... Who the fuck knows? It will be interesting to see how it plays out. Yeah, this is a development story. I mean, this is a continuation of the announcement last week as well. Um, all feeding into their partnership with Coinbase. Just keep an eye, keep an eye on how this plays out. Most of us won't really be able to interact with it on its first iteration, but this is huge that BlackRock itself, as well as now its banking clients, will have the ability to invest in Bitcoin. They're going to like BlackRock will literally go and buy Bitcoin and be holding it on the behalf of their clients. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, be... <laughs> it's going to be wild. It's also crazy. We said this yesterday, but it's crazy that this is happening in the middle of a bear market. This is like, this is the stuff that I would expect to be happening in the middle of a bull market. So separate from centralization risk, the fact that people are not going to be, you know, custodying their Bitcoin in these systems. Um, we've talked about that recently on the show. But I think this is incredibly bullish for Bitcoin's price. And I think it is even more important that we are all holding ourselves accountable for both understanding the importance of self-custody and teaching others the importance of self-custody um, as all of this new money starts to flow into the market. That's to say, the Bitcoin market. You know, it's now like kind of an idea forming in the back of my head off of the article we talked about yesterday from Bloomberg there is a growing expectation that Bitcoin will be treated as a risk off asset akin to gold and bonds versus equities, which it's had a high correlation with for the better part, if not the majority of its time in existence. And I wonder if part of that is someone at BlackRock like being tasked with doing the deep dive in Bitcoin and like it clicking for this person. And them slowly trying to like bring up like we this is the next frontier that we need to get ahead of. And it's like they're not gonna come out and say like Bitcoin is the future. Because if black if Larry Fink were to come out and say Bitcoin is the future, like what happens? Everyone goes in. Every single, every single big money manager goes into Bitcoin overnight. It's different than Michael Saylor, and nothing but respect for Michael Saylor. But he's still looked at like the man who lost the most money in the stock market on a single day back in 2001 or 2003. But like he still has that. Larry Fink is, is not damaged goods, unfortunately. And if Larry Fink were to come out and be like, yeah, we're, I was wrong. 
we're going to take a, a healthy position in Bitcoin now. You don't think every other bank, Fidelity is not going to respond? Well, Fidelity's yeah. understood Bitcoin for a long time. Long time. But I see where you're, I take your point. I mean, BlackRock announcing this would be, if they Larry Fink came out and said that, it would be huge in terms of it would help, it would further validate Bitcoin. Um, it'll be interesting to see whether or not they contribute to the kind of ongoing attempts to uh, not only regulatory capture, but just- uh, Of course they will. Like the KYC capture and the efforts to make Bitcoin fit within the confines of the traditional financial system. I think they absolutely will. So that I think will be will be deleterious for sure. But um, yeah, that's yeah. all I got.